In this video, I'd like to teach you the importance of connecting words together when you're speaking English. It's really important that you learn how to connect words. There are three big benefits to learning how to link words. Linking means connecting. Let me give you an example first of what to do and what not to do. Listen to this. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. My car is new. My car is new. I live in an apartment. I live in an apartment. In the second examples, I was linking. I was connecting words together. Now remember, linking does not mean we're speaking faster. Don't confuse those two. Some people think we need to speak like this if we're going to link words together. No, linking is just smoother, natural sounding speech. Let's talk about what we do when we connect words together. Look at this example, speak English. We have a consonant at the end and a vowel of the next word. We connect the final consonant to the next vowel. That's a very important rule. So listen to this. We don't say, I speak English. We say, I speak English. This K now becomes part of the next word. I speak English. Do you speak English? That sounds much better than do you speak English. Don't cut the words. Look at this one. Five hours. Five o'clock. This V is going to be connected with the O here and with the O here. The H is silent, so the H isn't pronounced, so we don't treat it like a consonant. It's a silent consonant. So we say it like this. Five hours. I've been working for five hours. Five o'clock. I'll see you at five o'clock. So remember, the rule is we connect the last consonant to the next vowel. Let me explain to you the three reasons why I believe that linking is so important for you to learn. The first reason is really obvious. Linking will just make you sound more like a native speaker. You will automatically sound more fluent and more natural. Native speakers connect words together. They don't speak like this. Beginners speak like this. Hi, my name is Lisa. More advanced students say, Hi, my name is Lisa. How are you doing? They link words together. So that's the first reason. The second reason is you will automatically start paying attention to which parts of the sentence we stress. Because when you put words together in one sentence, they're going to sound like one long word. And therefore, if you don't stress the right part, it will sound confusing. So now you have to ask yourself, wait a minute. If I say to you, I'll do it in a little while. Listen, I'll do it in a little while. I'll do it in a little while. I said that as one unit. I said that as one long word. But I stressed do and I stressed while. Listen to this. I'll do it in a little while. That makes a big difference. Now, I'm hearing the stress of the two key words, and that's where the meaning is. Most of the meaning is on those two key words. So, it's automatically going to force you to think about that important thing. And therefore, you'll sound more clear. And the third reason is probably the most important reason, in my opinion. And a lot of people don't think about this, but let's think about what happens to that final consonant when we link. We bring that final consonant to the beginning of the next word. So when we say, my car is, we say, my car is. Now it sounds like riz. My car is. And that R in the beginning of the word is much easier to pronounce than the R at the end of the word. So listen to this. My car is new. Five o'clock. That V, that V sound is difficult for some people to pronounce at the end of the word. But if we say it in the beginning, the clock, five o'clock, five o'clock, now the V changes position and it becomes, it moves to the front. And the consonants in the front are always much easier to pronounce than the consonants at the end. Especially if in your language that consonant doesn't exist at the end of the word. For example, V or R or d or t. Look at this. 
worked out, worked out. It's much easier to say, I worked out, than it is to say, I worked out, or I cooked it. I cooked it is difficult. You're going to want to say, I cook it. That's easier. But cooked is difficult. But if you move that d to the beginning, I cooked it. I cooked it. I needed it. Suddenly, it becomes easier to pronounce the consonants and as a result, you sound more clear. Let's practice some linking now. We're going to connect the last consonant to the next vowel. South America. He's from South America. Have a nice day. I hope you have a nice day. I'm a student. I'm a student. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Take a walk. No, we say take a walk. I'm going to take a walk. Okay, let's practice some dialogues now. Listen and repeat. Did you like it? Yes, I loved it. Do you live in a house? No, I live in an apartment. How far is it? It's four and a half hours away. What time is it? It's five o'clock. What time did you wake up? At four in the morning. Did you need it? Yes, I needed it. Did it work out? Yes, it worked out. Do you speak English? Just a little. Did you like it? I liked it a lot.